Hi everyone, my name is Jessen and welcome to my channel. So basically, I am on a weight loss journey and I have decided to document it and um, record it on YouTube. I have actually been on this weight loss journey for years um, and I have been unsuccessful and um, so this is like almost like a last resort or something that I haven't tried yet and I decided to just see how it goes. So I'm going to give a little history of myself and my weight and how I got to the point where I'm at now. Okay, so basically for as long as I can remember, I've had body image issues like re really, really low self-esteem. And I'm gonna try to put in some pictures and like even as I was searching for these pictures, like I just remember like my life at that point and thinking that I was so fat back then. But now I'm looking at it, I was not fat at all in the slightest sense. And like I would kill to be that size. So it just like my entire life really has just been looking at myself in a bad way because I was never comfortable in my own skin. So throughout life up until like my sophomore, junior year of high school, I was I would say I was pretty average weight, um, not stick skinny. Um, I wasn't really big. I would say I was pretty much average. And um, in high school, I was active. I was on the pep squad my freshman year. And for my sophomore, junior, and senior year, I was on dance line. And um, my senior year, I became one of the captains for the dance line. And that's kind of the point in my life when things started to change and I started to gain a lot of weight. Number one, I was a captain, and you would think that I would have worked harder, but actually it, I kind of became a lot lazier because instead of me doing the dances and doing the drills 50 million times, I was like watching the other girls do it 50 million times and critiquing them and all of that stuff. So I kind of became less active, and that was my only way of being active like I wasn't really even working out or anything back then and also that is the year that I got my first car and I had access to a little money and me being a senior I think we got out of school like half a day and so all of those things combined I would literally instead of eating the cafeteria food I would just leave school every day around noon and I would go hit up some fast food place um, and when once my money was all gone for the week, like I would just like stock up on Hot Pockets. And literally I did that my entire senior year. All I did was eat fast food and Hot Pockets. <laughs> and so all of that contributed to my weight gain. And so um, I would say when I was a senior, I don't know exactly, but I would say I was probably like Mm, like 150 ish climbing like steadily climbing and um, once I was a freshman in college once I graduated high school and went that summer in a freshman college it just kept escalating and escalating and escalating and it reached a point to where I was 200 pounds as I believe a sophomore in college at this point, like, my weight was, like, a big issue. It, like I said before, I'd already, I've always had body image issues, but now it was, like, a big issue because, like, I knew I needed to do something. So I began doing boot camps at um, the college I go to. I began doing, like, running club and stuff. I was pretty much trying to do just the exercise part. Um, but I wasn't taking care of the nutrition part, which you'll find out later has been my problem this entire time. So I somewhat plateaued at 200 pounds. Um, I kind of stayed at that weight for a long, long time. 
and um, I remembered that I had this event that I really really wanted to go to and I had this cute dress that I really wanted to wear that I had but it fit but I had like a gut in it so my motivation was to lose that gut before the event and I think it was like a month away so I did this crazy diet if you will um, it's called the 10 day green smoothie thing and by the way I would not recommend that to anybody and I will tell you why in a second and um, with that I lost like 18 pounds in 10 days which is really really drastic I wouldn't recommend not necessarily the challenge but what I was doing basically the smoothies were so nasty that I just quit eating them and I wasn't eating anything so basically I was starving myself for about seven days and that's how I lost all of the weight. I actually did keep the weight off for a while and I was extremely confident. Um, I felt really good about myself and I was just really in a happy place at the moment. And also around this time I entered into a relationship um, and just a little history about me being in relationships prior to that I had been on a five-year on and off relationship and it was very toxic it just is like the typical heartbreaking like he would constantly play me and I would break up get back together break up get back together it was just ridiculous and that was five years prior like my entire high school time and um, so once I was a sophomore I finally just cut that off completely and I finally got the strength to just walk away and not look back or go back. And so I was kind of, I guess you could say, finding myself and just ex finally experiencing what it is to just be on my own and not having to depend on anybody or, you know, feel like I have to do anything for anybody. And so once I lost all of that weight, I met this guy and um, long story short we began talking and um, he became my boyfriend and I will be 100% honest it was one of the happiest times of my life because he made me really happy and I had just lost the weight so I thought I was like just the hottest thing in the world and he just honestly he just really just made me happy that's the bottom line and um, four months four or five months down the line he basically broke my heart um, and I found out he was making a whole bunch of other girls just as happy as he was making me and um, honestly that was just the straw that broke the camel's back because it was like I was just going down with that five-year relationship and just losing myself and just feeling worthless. And then once I finally broke that up, I got like a lot of strength and I lost the weight and I was just going up with life and I was feeling great and I was making good grades and everything was going great. And I met this guy and it's going even better because finally someone likes me I guess and then he breaks my heart and I just crashed it was like I didn't know what to do and um, I, I kept that um, 18 pounds I lost off for a long time but after he did what he did um, slowly but surely I I gained it all back but I didn't just gain 18 pounds back I went from that 200 pounds to like 180 pounds to 250 pounds. So I basically gained 70 pounds after that and that's where I am today. It's been a year since I've been at 250. I've pretty much kind of plateaued here or at least tried to maintain this weight. I have noticed a lot of changes in my body um, obviously I'm bigger but also I have gotten stretch marks 
and I don't know if you can really see them through the video, but I have them on my arms, on like my abdomen, on my love handle area, and um, also on my breasts right in this area. And I'm not too happy about that um, because I feel like all of that could have been prevented and just because I was being lazy and I didn't want to do what I was supposed to do. Now I'm probably going to have to live with that for the rest of my life because even once I do lose weight I'm pretty sure they're still going to be there. So that's how I've gotten to where I am now. And um, long story short I'm just sick of being this weight. So being overweight and technically I'm actually um, severely obese according to my BMI. Um, being that has affected every aspect of my life. I just feel like like there's another person inside and what people see and what I see in the mirror and what I see in photos right now that's not me and to the point where like I'm like even though I've been at this weight for a long time I'll still like if someone takes a picture of me I like kind of get shocked that I look like that that I'm that big and I just don't feel like that's who I am and it sucks that that's all people see. Being overweight has affected my attitude and just like my personality so much. Um, I, I wasn't really like the loudest person in high school but I definitely wasn't shy or quiet or timid or whatever and now I am like antisocial to the extreme. I honestly don't really have any friends and um, I've kind of like learned to live with it and deal with it but in the beginning like during college you know that's it was kind of a big deal I'm like gosh does nobody want to hang out with me what well, and there's other reasons but a lot of it is attributed to my weight because of my weight I also don't like to go anywhere I stay at home I go from my house to school, to work, and back home. At one point, it peaked to where I was not just like wanted to stay to myself, I was kind of like just scared to see people. And at this point, I stopped going to church. I don't think I went to church for like four months straight just because I didn't want to see people. I didn't want people to see me looking the way I look. Um, I wouldn't go into grocery stores. Um, well, I live in a small town and Walmart's all we have. So I would wait until like 2 a.m. to go into the grocery store. So hopefully not as many people would see me. Even family events, like I think I skipped out on Thanksgiving. Like I just acted like I was sick and I didn't go to where my whole family meets up at and birthday parties, everything. I just would skip out on because I didn't want people to see me. And I was afraid of people and that's not a way that a person should have to live so my main problem with losing weight is the eating part I first of all am a binge eater um, I love to eat fast food I don't like to cook my own food I like cooking is just such a big chore for me and um, I just don't like to do it to be quite frank and I'm the, my biggest issue is not being consistent. I will do good for a while and then just fall off the bandwagon. And I just can't like cheat. I can't do good for like five days and have a cheat meal or even a cheat snack because that turns into a day, which turns into like the whole weekend, which turns like I never go back. So that's my issue that I'm not consistent and I could literally like do good three days straight. And then, it, like, nothing even has to trigger me. Like, I'll just eat, like, half a pizza by myself. Or I'll eat, like, an entire big bag of chips by myself. And then, I guess in my brain, I'm just like, well, I might as well just eat what I want. I just mess it up. So, some reasons that I have decided to do this on YouTube is probably number one is for accountability. Um, I talk that I don't really have friends. I'm not saying that people I don't know on YouTube would be on me, but I have seen other um, 
vloggers, I guess, do this before and they've been successful and they've kind of developed relationships with their subscribers and just people who watch their videos and hopefully maybe this could happen to me. I feel like if I could possibly help someone else then that's like the ultimate dream to be able to inspire someone else because so many people on YouTube have already inspired me. And last but not least, I just feel like if not now, then when? Because like, I only have one life to live and I'm tired of living it this way. I've been living it this way for like the last four years and I'm honestly just sick of it. I'm sick of looking like this. So I'm ready for this weight to come off. There are some reasons why I'm hesitant to do this. Um, number one is the fact that I am very much a person to myself. I don't really have friends and um, I don't really talk to anybody besides my family. And um, I kind of just don't want people that know me to be in my business, I guess. Um, obviously, I'm completely like countering what I'm saying by posting this to YouTube where the whole world can see. But um, that's just kind of like a little fear of mine that somebody I know or like a coworker or I don't know, somebody will like see this and be like, oh gosh, <laughs> but it is what it is. If you are watching this, then you can see my YouTube handle, which is fit to graduation. And I have named it that because I will be graduating very soon in May of 2017. And um, basically that's like my motivation. I want to lose a certain amount of weight by that time. I'm just envisioning myself like looking good in my senior pictures. <laughs> like I just want to look, I want to be proud of how I look. It's actually a lot deeper than that. Um, I've been in school for four years and this entire four years has been quite miserable for me just because it's been like my whole life has been centered on weight and how fat I think I am and food and stuff and um, I'm just tired of it. I feel like I've kind of just wasted away like my college experience because I've just been so focused on that and I didn't really allow myself to make friends and to really get involved. Basically I don't want to enter into the next chapter of my life the same way I entered into this one and I've been in for four years. I just want to feel like I've accomplished something more than just getting my degree because that's all I feel like I've done this four years. I don't really feel like I've really grown as a person. If anything, I've retreated and I've become just a person that I'm not really proud of and I don't want to leave this stage and enter the next stage of my life like that. So hence the word fit to graduation. Um, I believe that I have about 23 weeks until I graduate on May 12, 2017. And um, my goal is to lose 70 pounds by that. So I calculated it and that would mean I would have to lose three pounds a week for the next 23 weeks. I honestly do think that that's doable if I stay consistent. And yeah, my actual, like my wannabe goal, it would be to lose like 100 pounds by graduation. Like that would be awesome. But realistically speaking, that's probably not gonna happen. And if so, it would be very dangerous. So I think that three pounds a week is doable and something that I can keep up with. Um, I do plan on making weigh-ins every single week and posting them, posting my results and stuff. For my first weigh-in, I'm going to do like measurements, like with the tape measure and stuff. I will give my BMI and obviously my weight. I don't think I'll do that for every single video, just like my weight and stuff, not the measurements and everything. Um, I might wait until like a month or two to do the measurements because I'm not going to do that every single week. This last 
four months of school has been so stressful. It's been the hardest college has ever been for me. Um, and I dealt with senioritis really, really bad at the beginning of the semester. Um, and this whole semester, I just felt like a hot mess. Like I have not been able to get it together. Just turning in assignments late, like not doing tests, like tr making so many excuses to my instructors. I just like, I want to do it, but it's just like, there's something new every single day. So I know it's going to be hard to try to maintain my 4.0 for this last semester of school while also working and also trying to lose weight. Um, I know it's going to be hard, but I think it's doable and I think that I can do it. And I believe in myself. So I'm sorry if this video comes out really, really long. Um, I had a lot to say. <laughs> And this is kind of the first time I really said it out loud, so it was kind of like, I guess like an aha for me too, just to see what I was going on with myself. But in the future, in my actual weigh-in videos, I'm going to try to keep them like short and sweet. If anything like happened that week, um, I might say that like in the intro or whatever, um, but they definitely won't be like 20 minute, 30 minute videos. If you are still watching, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to subscribe, you're welcome to do that. If you would like to follow me on social media, my Snapchat and Instagram name is down below in the description box. And um, on my Snapchat, I plan on doing like daily kind of like checking in just so you can see it like from a daily perspective rather than weekly on YouTube. If you are still watching, thank you so much for watching and hopefully supporting and everything. I really do appreciate it. And I just can't wait to see what the future holds. So thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody has a great day.